Yes, and my name is Sergio. I'm front-end developer with seven years of experience. And uh, I want to talk about design systems with Storybook and Chakra UI because uh, I before worked uh, with these technologies one year and I had a very nice experience implementing and developing uh, with this. So uh, I want to share uh, my experience and my knowledge uh, with you. And maybe in the future, you can use it in a project. So uh, let's go. Okay, uh, I want to talk, uh, start uh, with an introduction about uh, the design systems. And uh, this is a story about the need of software de development. In the systems, and the computer technology began or places the aspect of software programming computers became faster achievers. But the software development remained being slow, difficult to maintain, and um, proof uh, to errors. Uh, that uh, was uh, the software crisis. And in the uh, 1968, at the NATO conference on software engineering, Douglas McElroy present a component-based development as a possi possible solution to the dilemma. In the past, it uh, was necessary to create uh, standards uh, to solve a problem of maintainability and uh, scalability in the software development. So now, 50 years later, uh, we are experiencing a similar challenge, but uh, this time in the design. Uh, design is struggling to scale with the application it supports uh, because design is still bespoke. Uh, tailor-made solutions for individual problems. Have you ever performed a UI audit a phone you are using a few designs similar use of blue or provisions of the same button and sometimes it ray in some things you create the uh, uh, different designs for a component and the different states so and uh, even uh, with more hands working faster the reality is this code design simply do doesn't scale Bespoke design is slow, inconsistent, and increasingly difficult to maintain over the time. Because a design system enables things to build better products faster by making design reusable. Reusability makes a scale possible. This is the hair and the primary key value of design systems. Uh, okay, uh, with this introduction, uh, I want to talk about standards and uh, the designs, uh, design system thinking. Uh, for a design system, it's necessary to think uh, like a system in software development. We, uh, like a software development, uh, you think in create standards, uh, maybe an architecture, patterns of designs, variables, uh, a lot of things. But uh, in design, uh, to create a design system, it's necessary to think about uh, maybe break counts, uh, values. Uh, maybe you need a design in a size for mobile, a size for a tablet, uh, a size for a desktop, you need to define that in a minute to make the application scalable in a future. So uh, when you think in a design system, the first is a uh, thing in all the standards that your application uh, going to use in a future. The second is uh, the components. Uh, components are a push portions of reusable code within your system. Uh, you need to 
uh, thing uh, with your design uh, in all different components that uh, you application going to need in a future. Uh, maybe input, input fields, buttons, uh, and cards, a lot of different components that you can reuse in your application. Like conclude a little conclusion is that design systems are not a fact or even an unstested hypothesis for design to find the scale necessary to match the rapid growth of technology component-based design and development is a proof and dependable solution. So uh, to design your design system, is necessary to have some things. Uh, for maybe uh, the people that is necessary to be involved is only the designers and the developers. But the ideal thing is uh, to have in the, your team an accessibility experts, content strategy, researchers, performance experts, product manager, leaders. All these people is the ideal thing for to create a design system. But if you in your team only have a designer and front end developers, you can talk and create a small design system very no very complete. But uh, you can save a lot of job in a future scalability only thinking in an init in a design system. Okay, uh, uh, the first uh, would you think is necessary uh, to create a visual inventory. Uh, for that, uh, you need a visual added tool. In this case, uh, for front-end developers, I'm going to show a storybook. A storybook is a very nice tool to uh, create documentation about all your components, uh, about you, the different uh, tokens in the application, uh, colors, uh, typography, a lot of different uh, uh, part of your local design system. But uh, other conduct, uh, visual audit, uh, maybe for designers, is Figma, Sketch, all that tools can work to have an visual audit. Okay, and the first is uh, design tokens. L design tokens are the subatomic foundation of a design system. It's all that uh, small de uh, definitions that uh, you're going to use in the future. It's important to create uh, your design tokens in an idea, but try don't change it in the future because uh, this affects all the components in your application. Only uh, you can change it uh, if you are thinking in modify your brand or uh, maybe a refactor on all design of application, but the important is try uh, to be consistent and don't change it in the future, preferably. Okay, uh, part of the tokens is uh, the colors. Uh, you need to uh, define all the colors in an image that you uh, are going to use in the application. So uh, may, uh, this is an example, maybe black and white, uh, different types of white, but uh, you need to think the colors in, around the function in your application. See so if you're going to have a feedback and error of your success states, you need uh, maybe a red color, yellow color, or uh, if you are a very creative designer, you can use any color, but uh, to be consistent in the application that 
the, the color is for error or success states. A color for information, maybe chart, graphs, or hierarchy. Um, uh, showing a structure, order, the color, and typography. Other token is uh, the typography. It's good in an init. Uh, you, uh, you define uh, the different typography that you uh, are going to use in a heading, in the paragraph, in a small heading. Uh, some uh, brands uh, have uh, his own typography. Uh, for example, Coca-Cola, uh, uh, you can recognize uh, his typography very easy. And uh, uh, maybe Disney, but uh, if you think of designer is a small, you can use uh, popular fonts like Pesans, Helvetica, Times New Romans, but uh, the important is to be consistent in your application and knowing that the heading is this, the heading is small is this, the text or paragraph have this typography. A other token in our design system is the image. Uh, it's good to define uh, all the icons, the all the brand image in a, in an init in a, in your application. Maybe uh, the ideal is to have uh, the icons in an SVG format. It is good, very good to the scalability in the responsive design. But if you have uh, maybe photography uh, uh, for uh, for your uh, web page, is uh, better use a J, a JPG or PNG. Uh, so if you want to improve your performance, use PNG. But if you want to give a very good quality of image to the user because you need to sell that, uh, a product very specific, I don't know, you can use a uh, JPG. Okay, and uh, other uh, type of token is the visual form, is a uh, different uh, values in, for example, radius in the borders or shadows uh, that you are going to use in the application. And other uh, token uh, that can help you uh, to improve the experience of user is the motion as sounds in your application. May, uh, if you have a very creative uh, designer or you are very good uh, creating animations, uh, you in an init to be consistent in your application, you can create uh, your animations in an star and your sounds. And uh, the components. Okay, um, uh, the last part is create the different components, uh, the components based in the tokens that you create before. Uh, maybe avatar, avatar view, a banner, you know uh, what components is necessary in a front end development. So uh, I want to show an example uh, that how a story works and how uh, the Chakra UI works. So uh, I have this application. I want to teach you how to implement a storybook and how to implement Chakra UI and uh, how to implement your design system using this. Uh, the first one, uh, the is only uh, to install uh, different libraries to Storybook. In, for this example, I'm using Next.js. So uh, I have uh, Sona, uh, using some add-ons add uh, for Storybook and Storybook for React. 
Uh, you can use a storybook in Angular, in Vue, uh, without a library or framework. But in this case, uh, for me, it's nice uh, to work uh, with React. So uh, I implement this. When you install this, it's created a library uh, folder uh, called .storybook. In this folder, you can uh, make the configuration uh, uh, of a storybook. For example, you can define what uh, are the files that have the different storybook components. In this case, I define that any file inside the source folder that had the stories uh, prefect and uh, that have uh, a file type of JavaScript, JavaScript, TypeScript, or TypeScript. Okay, and so a storybook going to search in the source, and uh, when you when a storybook find uh, the file, uh, going to create uh, and the storybook page. In this case, uh, I have only three different uh, storybook components: uh, a button, colors, and typography. And uh, then uh, you can use uh, different storybook add-ons. What is an storybook add-on? Uh, an add-on storybook is something that gives you uh, additional functionality. In this case, I only, I only use the essentials uh, capabilities uh, of a storybook, but uh, you can add add-ons uh, for text, uh, add-on uh, to implement uh, accessibility checks, and this is a lot. You can create your own add-ons if it's necessary. And a, a other a type of add-ons is to support a, a different environments. In this case, uh, I'm using Next.js, so it's good to uh, add an add-on to Nest Router because it had a, a little of troubles when you use uh, your components that have a routing and Next.js system. And uh, you can configure uh, the web app. In this case, I'm using uh, directions uh, uh, alias uh, to different folders in the project because I'm using TypeScript uh, with alias or paths, and so it's necessary to use it to prevent errors in our components. And this is a other part is that the preview, yeah, the preview, and so uh, in a uh, storybook you can add decorator. In this case, uh, an ID, a provider that is necessary to use a uh, with Chakra UI. Uh, I'm going to tell you uh, about Chakra UI <laughs> in a little. And uh, uh, for this case, it's only this, but you uh, want to uh, create a wrapper for all your a storybook components uh, like a background or a border, a part indifferent, you can do it uh, in the decorator. And uh, these parameters, uh, uh, you can, uh, uh, storybook give you options to add parameters. Uh, this uh, Nest router is uh, like a mock. Uh, that uh, we implement in the tests uh, to prevent errors in our application. So, how uh, is working Storybook? Storybook, uh, in Storybook, you can use uh, the different components and modify the props in real time. For example, I, I have uh, colors, I define a uh, background colors in a storybook. I can select the color that I want to see because my component have the property background 
and I can change it. And let me, I show you how this color stories is working. For create a, co a, a component in Storybook, you need a title. In the title you can separate to create different groups or components of a Storybook. In this case, foundations and using colors. You can def uh, define the different type of arts that you are going to use uh, for this component. In this case, uh, I create a background uh, with different properties. And uh, finally, this is a box of Chakra UI uh, that I use in the background. The same is for all the, the all these uh, other components. So, and this is for, ah, okay. And a uh, storybook uh, uh, document your components uh, automatically. So if you need to see, if you don't want, uh, see if, you, uh, if you don't enjoy creating your documentation because I lost a lot of time, storybook is very good for that. You can show code, see how the company was created, and uh, create a description for any edge prof and define that uh, for a uh, documentation. And it's a good introduction for new members on your team to know what components are you using in the project and uh, how implement it easily. Okay, uh, let me, how I can move this? Uh, let me put this in. Okay, uh, that uh, for a storybook. Uh, maybe I don't, uh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, how I said before, uh, we can add different uh, uh, add-ons to a storybook uh, to check accessibility, to do tests, uh, it is a lot because it's open source and so you can create your own uh, add-ons to Storybook. Uh, for example, one is an iteration test. You can create an iteration test in your Storybook to uh, see if the behavior when an event is running in your component is fine. And uh, you can create your own uh, docs components. You can create a MediX file and implement it in the storybook, or you can create your own component to make the docs and create your docs using a storybook. That is some of a uh, things that Storybook give us to make a development more easy. The next uh, I want uh, to talk uh, with you is Chakra UI. Chakra UI is a, lion, a UI for a library, very nice. But the idea with Chakra UI that is that a, um, Chakra UI give you uh, the and uh, the own components for all. For all is, uh, for example, a box. A box is like a diff, but uh, you can use uh, the different style properties uh, very easy. For example, uh, you can say the margin is two. It's a simple way. You uh, you have the the prof names la, uh, long and small, but uh, you can create designs uh, using the the tags of a uh, Chakra UI in a no verbose way. This is an example. Uh, for example, you, you can use the board verbose way using with 100%, hey, okay, 32, but uh, the shorthand is only used uh, the shorthand that Chakra UI gave us. 
Okay, uh, about uh, the styles. Uh, you have a, a, a very easy way to implement response styles using Chakra UI. For example, uh, I say you in a minute is good uh, for your design system, define the breakpoints that you are going to use the, for the different size of your screen. In this case, uh, is defined that a small screens uh, for cell phones is a 30 EM. Okay, and we have the different size. But the nice of this is that you can implement the styles for each case in in our in, one, uh, in only one definition. For example, uh, here we are defining the font size for mobile, for tablet, and for desktops in just uh, one object inside the component. This is nice to work because you are thinking in all the different sizes of your screen and you are uh, development for all them in one time. Let me show you. I have an example uh, for the typography here. So uh, I have, uh, I'm going to reload this. Uh, I have the different uh, size of for the font uh, and the prop, uh, the Chakra UI prop, props for this. So uh, I want to change for mobile in 40, but maybe in a large mobile, uh, I want, oh, tableau, uh, I want to uh, another values. For example, for tablet uh, or large, in this case, uh, I, I want to modify the size, oh, I mean, sorry. This is for middle, for tablet. I want to modify only for that, but uh, I need small. I want the 40 that I, I defined before. So in only uh, uh, a parameter, I define the different size and of the funds using uh, the Chakra UI component. And uh, for and this work from all the different props. If you want a, a margin, if you want a paragraph, a, a padding, sorry. You can modify it a, in only one comment. It's nice to, to implement in this way. It saves you a lot of time and it's very easy to change in your code. And the other thing uh, that I want to show you is uh, the team. Uh, customize uh, your Chakra UI is nice because you can customize all the different values in, uh, in only one folder to implement uh, that uh, changes in all the uh, chakra components. Let me, I share you. Uh, for example, uh, I have uh, the, the definition of breakpoints in a thin, fo a thin file that uh, is exported to chakra UI. And uh, I have the definition uh, for uh, for example, the colors that you are going to use in the application of the size, the typography, uh, or you can define a uh, many different variants of your uh, chakra components. For example, I have uh, in this storybook a chakra component uh, is a button. But in the button, I create before 
in the foundations, different variants of the button. Uh, maybe uh, a variant, uh, the name I select, any name that I want, for example, uh, which other I say, uh, no, uh, this button, this variant uh, have a background orange, a bow shadow with these values, and a color of letter uh, white. I define other solid only with a background red and a small. Okay. You can uh, define all this. So, uh, this. you can only select the variant and all that styles that you defined before, you can implement it only introducing the variant name in the property of the Chakra UI component. So uh, you said variant and the value with shadow and you implement all the styles that you defined before in the object uh, definition in Chakra UI. And that for all the different components in Chakra UI and you can include includes a uh, new components uh, of Chakra UI in this definition with the different variants uh, the, the, and the styles way that Chakra UI make the definitions. So, uh, uh, for uh, implementing this, uh, how I tell you before, Implementing a design system, you want uh, to create a component and you want to define the variance uh, from the need. So uh, with Chakra UI, you can define all that uh, that the designer is defining in the Figma very easy in the front end. And you can use it in all the different components that you are going to use in the application. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, no, uh, that's it, uh, maybe. Uh, you have some questions or uh, you, can, you want to uh, know a little more uh, what uh, Chakra UI or Storybook uh, can do for us. Thank you. I have a, Sergio, I have a question here. Uh, yes. Why, why Chakra UI? Why does it give it to us? Uh, why, why Chakra and what? Not a different library. What's so special about it? Is the, the, the definitions. Is the audio definition that you can do in an init. Only the capacity uh, you, that you define the different type of button that you are going to use in the application uh, made you like better because you only with a variant and I want to use uh, the selected button that you define in an object. It made you your development more easy, more consistent, more scalable. So uh, improve uh, the development. And other thing is that Chakra UI uh, don't have uh, maybe a styles, uh, let me, uh, don't have uh, a real uh, style uh, for the different components. Chakra UI gives you uh, components very basic for uh, that uh, and uh, you can implement uh, or modify the components uh, uh, the components uh, for your needs. If the designer needs something, it's very easy to modify the Chakra UI component and make that uh, Chakra uh, um, implement that style with Chakra UI. So, uh, yes, I believe uh, 
uh, Chakra UI made your life very easy to implement a style system. Okay, I understand that it makes it very flexible to apply your own styles. It doesn't give you any opinionated uh, options, I would say. That's what yes. you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. What about the, the range of components? Like, uh, how many components do you have there? And uh, is it enough to build a decent application or is it something missing from it? From, is it a fairly complete uh, library? Uh, yes. Uh, I, uh, let me show you. For example, we need a flex component. Yeah, this is the different components that the library gives us to implement in our project. Uh, it's a container, a component uh, to implement Flexbox. We are use box, it's flex for the foul, to create grids, simple grids, fonts. You can uh, you have button, chat box, uh, input, or sliders. So uh, I work uh, with Chakra UI implement uh, this web web page working called Orkin. I implement all this web page uh, using Chakra UI and uh, all the different components that you see here only have uh, Chakra UI components and uh, maybe some custom, but uh, you can implement custom components using the Chakra UI Plus tool. So yes, uh, with Chakra UI, you can create a complete web page with a lot of different components and create your own components uh, using the Chakra UI uh, tags. Hmm? Thank you, Dominic, for the questions. I have a question. I have a question also. Uh, yes. Sergio, do you know something about library MUI or material UI? I just wanted to ask, is that a matter of habit or um, Chakra UI has uh, some strange that you could highlight in comparison of material UI, if you know it? Yes. Uh, the idea with Chakra UI is that you can implement a design system very easy. Yes. The idea is you create your own styles is no use the styles that Chakra UI give us because his Chakra UI is very basic about the styles. It don't have, uh, it's very simple uh, for a way to say, because the idea is that you modify the styles and adapt that these styles uh, to the, your needs. So if you, for example, work like front end developer, you don't have an, a, you are a, a designer team behind, uh, you help you uh, with the styles that Chakra UI is not a good option because it's basic and you need to make the styles to, to make, you, make it uh, look fine. It's, uh, for that case, it's better use material because material gives you all the designs, uh, you have the actions, the animations, you have all in the, fra in the uh, design framework. But uh, Chakra UI is more when you need to create all the styles from scratch, you have uh, a team of designers that uh, need uh, some uh, styles and you need implement it. So Chakra UI is to create a design system from scratch. That is the ideal case to use Chakra UI. If you need, see, if you don't need to create a style system, you don't have designers, it's better use 
material because material have a lot of work the, uh, behind implementing a design system. Okay, thank you. And the uh, second question. Yes. Uh, does Chakra UI provides us ability to fix uh, uh, accessibility issues? Uh, not really. Yes. Fix, uh, does it support accessibility? Yes. Uh, Chakra UI uh, have uh, have uh, full support for accessibility. See if you see. Um, have a part of accessibility, how, uh, for example, work with the component using only the keyword. Uh, yes, uh, ha, uh, Chakra UI have full support to accessibility. No problem with that. Thank you. Hmm? Uh, maybe any more question? Okay, <laughs> thank you.